You have been assigned to a mission few would qualify for. A mission few would survive. You are about to embark upon a great crusade. The eyes of the world are upon you. The hopes and prayers of liberty-loving people everywhere march with you. turning point of World War II. Across a 50-mile stretch of France's Normandy coast, the Allies staged a massive assault against Hitler's vaunted Atlantic Wall. Valor. Duty. Leadership. Sacrifice. Can one man truly make a difference? It's time to commence field training. Pay attention, and you might even stand a chance on the battlefield. First, I want you to use your mouse to look at each of the four guard towers. Good. Now press your forward key to move in the direction you're facing. Press your backwards key to move back. Press strafe left to move left, and strafe right to move right. Using these four keys together with the mouse is critical to your success against the enemy. Press your objectives key to see your list of current objectives. When you complete an objective, it's checked off on this list. Your current objective is highlighted in yellow. Now notice that the arrow on your compass is pointing at one of the towers. The arrow points to your current objective. As you near your objective, the ball bearings on the compass will move closer together. Approach the tower indicated by the arrow. Good. Now press your objectives key again. You have a new objective. Now complete it. 
Press the jump and forward keys to jump up on this pile of crates. Press the duck key and then move forward to pass under the barbed wire. Press the duck key again to stand up. Look up and press the forward key and you'll climb the ladder. Press the use key to grab a ladder from above or below. Look down and press the forward key and you will descend the ladder. Approach the explosives and press the use key to pick them up. Notice that an image of the explosives has appeared in the upper right corner of your view. This shows you the items in your inventory. The other image represents the radio through which we are communicating. A red transparent image of the explosives has appeared on the tank. Press the use key while near the image to plant the explosives on that tank. Items you need to use or destroy to complete your mission will also pulse red. Move away from the tank to avoid being injured. Press the use key to open doors. Some doors might be locked. The sound will clue you in. You will automatically pick up first aid supplies when your health level is below 100%. Same for ammunition and weapons, but remember that each weapon has a maximum amount of ammo you can carry. Some items are too far away to be automatically picked up. Press the use key to grab these items. Select the Colt 45 pistol by pressing the pistol key. To neutralize an enemy without drawing his attention, press the secondary attack key to activate the pistol whip. Press the primary attack key to fire any of your weapons. Remain stationary and fire short bursts to increase your accuracy. Try a couple of shots on that target with your 45. Switch to the Thompson submachine gun by pressing the SMG key. You may reload any of your weapons at any time by pressing the reload key. Always reload your weapons before going into combat. Shoot that target 20 times with the Thompson. Switch to the Springfield 03 sniper rifle by pressing the rifle key. Press the secondary attack key to toggle the sniper scope on and off. Aim through the scope at the farthest target. Hit the red dot three times. and grenades by pressing the grenade key. A grenade's primary attack is a long throw. Use the secondary attack for shorter tosses. The longer you hold down the secondary attack key, the farther you'll throw. Use bank shots with grenades to clear rooms where the enemy may be hiding. Throw a grenade into each of the concrete boxes.
approach the MG-42 stationary machine gun and press the Use key to take command of the weapon. Destroy the target with that machine gun. When you're ready, press the Use key on the red door at the end of the range to exit. This training should help you keep your head under fire. You're dismissed, Lieutenant Powell. Good luck. Lieutenant Powell, I'm Colonel Hargrove from the Office of Strategic Services, the OSS. Our branch specializes in covert operations, usually deep behind enemy lines. Espionage, sabotage, infiltration. That's the business we're in, Lieutenant. As you know, Germany's famed Africa Corps has captured key locations along the southern coast of the Mediterranean and is now digging in. Our response, in coordination with our British allies, is an invasion of North Africa. The attack is codenamed Operation Torch. This is it, Lieutenant. Our first large-scale offensive of the war. While everything you hear in this room is classified top secret, what I'm about to tell you is extremely sensitive and only known by a select few. The Germans have positioned artillery batteries along the coast, several of which overlook our intended landing zone. A British SAS operative has penetrated enemy lines of the town of Azu on the Algerian coast. His mission was to sabotage these batteries, then give the all-clear signal to start the invasion. Yesterday, however, all contact with that agent was lost. The enemy's artillery positions remain intact, and the SAS officer's capture could compromise the entire operation. You and a small squad of your fellow rangers will infiltrate our zoo under cover of darkness. Your goal is to destroy the coastal batteries and rescue the captured agent. You'll receive specific details of the mission once you're in the field. The SAS operative is Major Jack Grillo, a man I've known for years. He would never allow himself to give up what he knows to the Germans, so please find him before he's forced into taking drastic measures. No doubt about it, this is a critical mission, Lieutenant. Your team has trained hard, and I have every confidence you'll get the job done. Good luck. Rangers lead the way. Algeria, North Africa, 7 November, 1942. Good work on infiltrating the coastline. It's time to get down to business. We've procured two captured German Opel transport trucks for this part of the mission. They will take your squad to a shoreside village that leads into the town of Arzu, where our missing agent last reported in. Take control of this village quickly and try not to let any sentries slip away to warn other troops in Arzu. You'll be part of the assault team in the first truck. German occupation forces are reported to be light in this area, but in my experience, you're better off taking that with a grain of salt. There's no point in taking unnecessary risks. Captain Richards will be in command of the mission, so pay close attention to his orders. Lieutenant Powell, as second in command, you will be bringing up the rear and supporting the assault on the village. One more note. Watch your ammo. The M1 Garand doesn't reload easily in the middle of a clip, so you'll have to fire off the whole clip before you can reload again. Stanley Hargrove Colonel, U.S. Army, commanding. German checkpoint, 200 yards. Okay, squad, listen up. This is a rescue mission, so watch your fire. Don't give your position away. Advance from cover and check the corners. Everyone keep quiet. Was haben Sie geladen? He's taking too long. He's buying it. Ihr Ausweis ist ungültig. Zeigen Sie mir bitte Ihre Papiere. Danke sehr. Zeigen Sie sofort Ihren Führerschein vor. He's not taking them, Captain. Hey, get the truck moving! Hey, go! Let's go! Move up there! Move in! Move! Let's go! Get off! Get moving! Come on! Go! Go! Over Let's there!
I got all the time in the world here, pal. Get your act together, pal. What was that? I think I heard something. Ambush! for it, pal. I'll cover you. Rescue Mission, Algeria, North Africa, 7th of November, 1942. Even the best planned missions can go awry. That incident at the checkpoint has so far cost us the lives of your entire squad, but it must not prevent you from completing the mission. We received our agent's last message near the town of Arzo, which is built around a desert fort now occupied by the Germans. If our agent was indeed captured, there's a good chance he'll be held somewhere in the town and interrogated. His original exfiltration plan was quite detailed, so we'll have a few ideas about how to get you to safety. With any luck, you'll be able to help him complete his mission, which is to destroy the 88 Noether guns covering the harbor. Locate our agent. We've only been out of contact with him for less than a week, 
And once the Germans realize who our agent is, they'll probably have him sent to Berlin for a full interrogation. We expect that they'll keep him safe and sound until then. As a major, he'll assume command of the mission once you've freed him. He knows the territory and the best escape routes, so cover his back and pay attention to his orders. This won't be an easy one. Good luck. Stanley Hargrove Colonel, U.S. Army, Commanding. Ja, mit deiner Königin. Hab keine, angel dir eine. Du lügst, jede... They would have killed me for certain. Stick close to me at all times. Fire! Let's get going, Lieutenant. I think it is! The documents and explosives I had were confiscated. You've got to recover them or this mission is lost. They're probably in the Commandant's office. Shooting the spotlights will get their attention. It's best to just avoid them. Stick close, Lieutenant, and I'll show you how to avoid detection.
Watch out! Found the documents. Now let's get the explosives. You know exactly what we want to know. The sooner you tell us, the easier things will be for you. I think you will find it. And we finish with you. We may have trouble getting you to stop. Lieutenant, it sounds like they've got more allied prisoners. Sind Sie sicher? Let's go! Saved my life, sir. We'll have to blow that gate. Set a charge. I'll take care of this one. You get the other. I'll cover this area. The Africa Corps motor pool is up ahead. Use the rest of the explosives and sabotage as much as you can. In the meantime, I'll get some transportation for us. Good luck, Lieutenant. I'll see you soon. Sabotage, The Motor Pool, Algeria, North Africa, 7th November, 1942. Well done.
You've kept the Germans from obtaining vital secrets about our operations and found a way out of this mess. Destroying the 88mm guns covering Arzu Harbor was a critical move, keeping Operation Torch on schedule and making the job of landing on the beach that much easier. By now, Major Grillo has no doubt chosen an exfiltration plan and is on his way to one of several camouflage desert supply caches from his previous mission. He'll procure some transport to get you two out of there. Meanwhile, you'll have to take care of two things. Keep the Germans from pursuing and disrupt troop mobility along the coast when our forces land. You can do this by finding Opal transport trucks in the German-held port facilities. Render the trucks useless by disabling the engines with your wire cutters. Keep your eyes open for Panzer and Tiger tanks and put them out of commission whenever possible with your radio bombs. Finally, destroy any munitions caches and get out of there. Major Grillo will rendezvous with you once you're clear of the motor pool. Choose your battles carefully. The Germans are hunting for you and have you completely outnumbered. Stanley Hargrove Colonel, U.S. Army, Commanding.
lighting the torch, Algeria, North Africa. 7th November, 1942. Good work on sabotaging the motor pool. I hope you've had some rest during the drive down the coast, because you're not done yet. Your final target is a radar tracking station built into the side of a cliff overlooking the Mediterranean. This station can direct intense fire onto the fleet from distant coastal gun batteries. Destroying that station will render those guns blind and useless, allowing the fleet to sail in unchallenged. Grillo will drive while you operate the 30 cal machine gun at the back of the jeep. The station is located next to a desert airstrip where you should destroy a squadron of Stuka dive bombers stationed there and any other targets of opportunity. Then enter the radar station and destroy the sensitive radar equipment. Just shoot the controls out. Head down to the seawall and fight your way into the lighthouse at its end. Give our fleet the all-clear signal by activating the lamp. Once that's taken care of, rendezvous with Major Grillo at the foot of the lighthouse for extraction. With any luck, we'll force Rommel and the Africa Corps out of North Africa soon enough. Stanley Hargrove, Colonel, U.S. Army, Commanding. Look alive, pal. We're coming up on the outskirts of the airfield. Remember, don't just take out the planes. We also want to get the fuel dump and any troops on the ground. And don't let any of those planes take off. Ow! We've got a truck outside. Attention!
destroy that stupid now! Let's split up. I'll draw their reinforcements away. Go through that bunker to the lighthouse. I'll meet up with you there.
truck. 